Hello, I'm Steve, and I'm the owner of a Raspberry Shake 4D in Chino Hills, California. And I'll take the opportunity to give you a quick tour of the uh, Raspberry Shake's home. It's a scheduled maintenance day, so I thought I'd bring you along and, and walk you through. So first of all, so we're gonna zoom in a little bit, is this is my second vault. I'll have a link down below that shows the description of my first vault, which was a, a failure, and I ended up uh, drowning my shake. Uh, not one of my proudest moments. Um, so this is version two where the attempt was to make sure to keep all the water out. Um, you can see I poured a lot of concrete. It was Portland cement and a sand mixture of one to one. Uh, two components here, we'll get to the inside in a moment. All inside the uh, concrete foundation here is uh, pressure treated wood, um, wood frame that's been centered, uh, sunk into the concrete. A nice top on, uh, on the cover for the top to protect what's inside. Uh, again, mainly, it is a pressure treated lumber on top is a composite fencing material all been covered now in marine paint uh, painted white for reflectivity in the summer to keep the heat off and um, a nice marine paint to kind of protect it from the the uv sun uh, as you see in the winter time the sun angle is getting a little low we have a hill behind this so as the winter progresses the sun will be less of an issue so let's uh look inside here and this cover is pretty heavy so it's not going to go anywhere uh, and kind of a theme going here will be spray insulation everywhere. Uh, a lot of cans used. The inside and kind of the scrambled egg effect of um, having the insulation in there. Again, keeping the heat out, trying to keep the temperature um, as much as uh, normal. It doesn't it vary too much. Um, put this cover back down. So this houses what's inside. If this doesn't get packed out of the way. This is an overpack drum um, used for transporting contain, uh, things that might spill out in, in transport. Um, it's sunk into the concrete about two feet below and the drum has basically had the bottom cut out of it and sunk into the concrete about four inches. And I'm gonna open it up to open it up. Well, before I go, also on the, uh, around the whole perimeter here is some rubberized insulation to keep the air out and also Hopefully keep some of the vibration down from, from the cover. I made this key to help open up the, uh, the cover. It was a little hard to open it with just a single two by four because it is kind of down below the walls. And over time, it does get a little sticky to open it up. So let's see the best way to do this. There we go. Always gets up a little bit of a, a fight. So. And again, insulated every little spot. And insulation on the inside. And now, the meat of the uh, operation here. I've got two cat fix cables coming in. It feeds two raspberry pies. One, of course, the shake itself, which is down on a little bit of a platform. And there's a little keyhole with a, where a screw has been screwed into the concrete here. And then when you put that on the keyhole and on the leveling screws, raise those, it really locks in to the ground and it's not going anywhere. Um, so any movement, it will stay, move with the ground and that's it. PoE injector, power over ethernet, which comes from all the way from the bedroom to feed the two devices. It's a uh, PoE switch that feeds the power, so I get power and ethernet to each device. Uh, one of the things I wanted to monitor was, was any uh, water getting in here for my first failure. So that's why I added the second pie, which down below, I don't know if you can see it, but down there is a temperature chip. And I'll have a links to all these pieces in here. So if you're interested in finding out what it is, you can uh, find it. The main thing I really come in here to check is just to make sure everything looks good, nothing's moved, and to change out the uh, dust get pack that keeps the the uh, humidity in check. You usually change it when it gets about 50 or 60 percent. And I can see here's after, here's before. This is reusable, nice and orange when you start out, and it turns that green color if you can see it in here a nice green color when it's used you put it in the oven for two three four hours and then it reverts back to somewhat of an orange color 
So I'm gonna put the new pack in. If I can see everything looks good, like I said, it's nice and tight with the ground. There's no cables have moved. I tried to keep everything fast and nicely. Um, so again, it's me quick tour because I like to get this back online as soon as I can so we don't miss anything. Um, and um, just to let you know too that if you are going to think about getting a raspberry shake, you don't have to go this far. Um, it works fine in the a garage or any lower floor. So don't let that scare you off. I just wanted to kind of see how far I could go on getting the most farthest quakes and quiet quakes. So just kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. Um, so by no means think, oh, I have to do this too when I buy a raspberry shake. You don't. Um, this, uh, the data is online 24 seven on my live stream. So always see the date, you can see the data there and also look at the, um, any of the previous recorded quakes to get a uh, feel of what this can capture. Uh, so thanks again for everybody uh, viewing and going through this little tour. We'll talk to you again sometime.